Hi everybody, Niklas Seidloff here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use IBM Bluemix to steer a driving smartphone over the internet via speech recognition. For the speech recognition, a Watson service is used, which communicates to the Internet of Things service in Bluemix to send commands to the smartphone. The smartphone forwards the commands to a Sphero ball, which carries the phone. You can see the driving phone in the lower right corner of the screen. On the left side there is a browser with a slightly modified version of the Watson speech recognition sample. I can now go ahead, click on this icon here, grant access and then speak. Go! Right! Go! Right. In addition to that, I can also use simple UL commands. So I can, for example, say reverse and left and right and one more time reverse. And last but not least, I can also use Twitter to tweet something out, a command, at Niklas Eitlov, Niklas Demo, tweet, and that's the demo. Next, I'm going to describe how this demonstration has been built. And before I do that, I want to give credit to two of my colleagues, Brian Boyd and Mark Fenderveen, from whom I've stolen the idea, as well as the code for the speech recognition and the node red flow. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a thing for the Internet of Things, in this case the Sphero ball. And in order to allow the Sphero ball to carry my smartphone, I'm using the Sphero chariot device. When you scroll to the bottom of this web page here, there is a link to the developer site. And here is an overview of all the different available SDKs for the different platforms. These SDKs essentially allow you to communicate between a mobile native application and the ball using the Bluetooth protocol. Since I have an Android phone, I implemented an Android application and used the Sphero Android SDK. Now this project comes with a library that you can import. What I did was just to use one of the available samples that comes with that library and imported that into my Android IDE. And this is the one I chose. It's called Button Drive. Now the next thing I needed was a client library to communicate between the native application and the Bluemix Internet of Things using the MQTT protocol. I chose this Eclipse Payo library or project, which actually contains a number of different clients. This is the one that I used here, the Java client, and my colleague Brian used the JavaScript client for the later part of the demonstration, the speech recognition part. So with these two libraries, I could implement the Android project. Here it is. At the top, the two libraries are imported, the Sphero library and the MQTT library. And then all there was to do was to implement two or three methods. The first one on connect, where you define the server URL, the client ID, username, password, and you also need to subscribe to a topic. When this topic is invoked or a message with that topic arrives, the other method is invoked where the heading is read. And that's all there was to do. It was really easy and straightforward. Now what I want to do next is go back to my web browser and show the dashboard of the Internet of Things. So this is what you see when you add the Internet of Things Foundation service to your Bluemix application. And what I want to point out is that there are actually two different devices here. The first one is the one I just talked about. This is my native Android application and or Android and then device ID Niklas. And the sec second one is used for the speech recognition that I will talk about in a minute. 
So now let's take a look how the node red flow looks like. So here I have these four incoming HTTP nodes. I can open them up and when the URL Go is invoked, the flow starts. The same for reverse, left and right. Then I return some response to the web browser and more importantly these different function nodes are invoked where the heading is set. I'm using some defaults here which is why you, why you don't see the actual numbers. Now let's take a look at reverse. Essentially this changes the direction to minus 180 degrees. The left command changes the direction to minus 90 degrees and the right command changes the direction to plus 90 degrees. And then the command is built, which essentially means that the, the format of the data is changed. The payload of the message is now or contains now the heading. And most importantly, the actual command is invoked. So an output type is command. Then to define the device type and ID, this is the one that I just showed you a minute ago on the dashboard, and you define the command type and that's it. Now for the last part of my demonstration I showed how to, how to use Twitter to invoke these same commands. So what I've done here is to use an incoming Twitter note. I logged in as myself. I search all public tweets for hashtag Nicholas Demo. And when they come in, the same flow is triggered here with a go command and the ball drives. Then a little bit more tricky is the part how the Watson speech recognition is done. What you can see here that actually another IoT node is used, but it's an incoming IoT node. So the Watson web application publishes the text to the node application, to the node red application using MQTT and I'm going to show that in a second. So here we get the input. Then I think it was Mark who implemented now this extract key and the next node where basically only the first, if multiple words come in, only the first one is used. Then there is a switch node dependent on the command, another function node is invoked here and then again it's the same flow as previously. So now let's take a look at the Watson web application. This is essentially the sample that comes out of the box with the speech to text service. It's a node red application and a node JS application. And when we go here under more tools, JavaScript console, you can see the changes. And just refresh it here quickly. Go to network. So the only file that really changed is this file demo.js and I think it was Brian who extended that one with two or three functions here. This is the first one where this web application connects client side to the Bluemix Internet, Internet of Things Foundation again using the MQTT protocol and using the second library that I mentioned earlier from the Payo project Again, here you define the server, client ID, username, password, etc. Then there is the second function called publish. And this one is invoked right here when the results from Watson come in. That's all I wanted to show you today. So as you saw, it's pretty straightforward. I think a great demo. Again, lots of the ideas and code stolen from my colleagues, Mark and Brian. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.